Hello everyone, this is Chris Loader from Freeloader's Adventure. I'm going to give you the final walkthrough of uh, my Jeep before I get the lift kit put in and then the Ursa Minor Top in uh, January or February or March. We'll see. Um, but I wanted to take you on a quick walkthrough. These right here I installed, they are not clothes hangers and not to hold the windshield up they're called limb risers and as the bushes come up they just get pushed out of the way of the uh of the windshield and uh don't cause any problems no breaking windows or anything see my high lift jacket on the, side, on the front and we got my winch it's a worn vr 10 s um 10,000 pound wedge with a synthetic line and uh, here we got the other side of the limb riser these are actually very useful and uh, they're not just for show another thing that is very useful is this rugged ridge snorkel that goes all the way up underneath through the uh, quarter panel and doesn't require you to cut anything uh, you just put it on here and it's good to go um, I got my rigid lights, my, my FUD lamps are in there, uh, my spotlights are in the mail, and that should be good. Again, it's a Recon, uh, Kenda Cleaver MT, 35, 12 and a half by 17 inch wheels. And here on the inside, we can see this side of the, uh, cockpit, and we got my iPad and my wet ochre seats. And my CB radio, which is fully operational now. And everything like that. So, over here we have my recovery gear, like you know. Um, it's all organized and ready to go. Um, I have some vacuum attachments down there. And uh, here's my solar. Oh, damn it. My freaking gimbal went crazy. And it's reading 12.8 right now. We're not getting much sun because it's late in the evening. And... Yeah, yeah. Okay, now that we got the camera back right, um, there's another uh, Kenda Cleaver. My Trasheru on the back. And here's the meat and potatoes of my kitchen. Um, we got an ARB 63 quart element fridge, freezer. Um, it's one, one chamber, but you can set it all the way down to like negative five degrees. So it, it works good for freezing stuff and then uh, letting it slowly dethaw over the next day or so as you're out camping. Here is my uh, uh, my Outwell um, stove, and we'll open this up here. Two burners and a griddle, or a uh, grill uh, actually. Um, I went and took the time to put a quick disconnect on it, so that can just hook up straight to my propane bottle right here. And uh, my hoses are in here, along with my uh, air inflation, tire inflation hoses, and my knife, and a chair, uh, a chair up there, and uh, some mosquito repellent, and these things, the uh, thermocells, if you've ever seen one of those, they work pretty good in small areas, um, an extra tool bag, and another cargo bag, which I have uh, miscellaneous stuff in. Um, down here is my goose gear decking and you can see that it's full and that runs all the way the length of the side of the Jeep um, until uh, and it's all got tools in it. It's all tools. Uh, I get everything from ratchets to wrenches to hammers to you name it, I've got it. I could rebuild this car 
on the side of the road. Okay, and that was the point. Here we see my knives. And my serrated knife. Some steak knives. Uh, just a regular knife, paring knife. Uh, grater, spoon, spatula, whisker. Right here. And this goes... I can't get my hand around it, but there you go. Um, yeah, it's like you whisk it and stuff like that. And you use that for sauces and stuff. So, that's a good thing to have. All my cutlery and spoons and and so forth. Here's a special uh, edition that I put in. Um, it's a Dyson vacuum. It's run on a uh, 140 watt uh, DeWalt inverter. You can see the inverter back there turn on. You can see the uh, uh, the light turn on and turn off on the on the uh, Dyson because it's already charged. But this thing is really cool. It won't turn on on the charger, but um, and I can vacuum out the back of the the Jeep or the front of the Jeep or the side of the Jeep or anywhere in the Jeep. <laughs> Here we have my tent. Now this is not a special tent. This is a, just a, a, a sh tent for show. Um, uh, a, just a tent for show. Uh, some campgrounds require you to have a tent in a tent spot, even though you have a car. So they don't want you sleeping in the car. They want you to at least have a tent. Now they don't care if you sleep in the car. Um, as long as you have a tent but they don't want you just sleeping in your car without a tent I don't know something about their rules whatever um, I'll do whatever they tell me to do so that I can stay wherever I want uh, we can see my logo on the side the freeloaders adventure I have two of these frizz cool uh, USB battery powered fans three speeds and they work really good for cross ventilation you can see I have one over there there's my clothes uh, get some light on here and uh, my sleeping bag air mattress in that green bag a blanket and my toilet um, right there uh, I got some water for Darcy in this bottle I got a bottle for holder for me some toiletries and pills and stuff and uh, my uh, uber cool um, headlamp and I got another flashlight over here so and of course the goose gear decking which I've been waiting for is right here and this has got all kinds of storage all over the place there's there's storage down there there's storage over here and this is where my switches are for the front console and you won't be able to see these installed because I I haven't had them installed yet but these are the lights these are the switches I have for the center console air compressor winch power inverter power interior lights and passenger eject passenger eject is a joke um, I'm gonna use that on somebody I don't know what I'm gonna do with it uh, so it'll be a surprise but I'll, I'll figure out something cool uh, I just like that button really cool a lot so it's something I put on there here we have the a pillar now it's supposed to go like that but uh you can see the rear lights the zombie response lights the backup light sasquatch lights and the and the underbody lights uh the rear lights are the lights in the back above the tail lights the zombie lights are the spots spotlights that have not been installed yet the sasquatch lights are the uh flood lamps on the front a pillar and underbody lights i'll have six uh, underbody lights showing uh, showing rocks and stuff like that when I'm at night and those are red so and over here we have the command center in the cockpit and I'll just get in here and I'll turn on some stuff everything is run off of the solar this here this here and this here is all run off of solar um, also my CB radio is run off of solar. 
uh, so my communications and navigations are always going to have power. Um, uh, you know, even if both of my batteries that are in this thing die. Anyway, let's uh, show you the iPad. And it's going to want me to put my code in, so I'm going to punch you this way real quick. Okay, and this is Gaia GPS. Gaia GPS is the most advanced GPS you can use um, for land travel. And they even have a Gaia GPS for uh, flying too, but for aviation. But this one I use for overlanding. And, and you can see it, the first route that I have ready to go is uh, Omaha, Nebraska, where I'm living. And then my next stop will be over here. Come on, come on, come on. This is Paris, Texas. Right there. We'll overlay something here. Uh, we'll put the uh, satellite on there. Okay, so you can see like the topography and you can see the uh, the lakes and you can see the different type of ground and ground cover. I can zoom all the way in to see somebody's house right there um, and if I'm on this road I can tell where I am on that road so it's pretty cool and it's easy to control um, if you can get your finger on the right button but it's easy to control and this is my first trip to Paris Texas down here down here long trip I'm zoomed out I'm zoomed in pretty far but there's Paris Texas there's the campground that I'm gonna be staying at and then the next leg of the journey will be down to uh, Livingston Texas which is just about two no two hours north of, of Houston and it's on a lake so it's pretty cool and so that I can communicate with all of my uh, uh, people that I want to communicate with on a regular basis. I have this over here and this Little device if I can get it on I'll Let that load Okay And I'll open my fizzone Okay, let's have some music. Let's see I have Gaia GPS on here too. Um, so I can also get all the waypoints for a person that I follow on YouTube. His name is Chris Schantz. He's Venture Forward. That's V E N T U R E F 4 W D. Venture Forward. 4 W D. Four wheel drive. Um, he's, a, he's a brilliant cinematographer and photographer and a great blogger and a vlogger and uh, I really enjoy his campsites that he's given me all over his over the United States uh, the continental United States uh, because I can use these they're like free campsites so if I wanted to go to somewhere in Arizona I got all these camp spots and I just click on them There, Camp Nevada. And it gives me a brief description of what is going on at the camp uh, near the uh, eastern terminus of the Mojave Road. Um, so, and it gives me a GPS file folder, and I can transfer this over onto, um, I can transfer this on over to, uh, to my, G my GPS, Gaia GPS on the uh, uh, iPad. And uh, it'll navigate me right where I want to go. Now here we have something special. This is my Garmin Montana 750i satellite communicator and GPS uh, and it has a map too and you can overlay on it 
uh, topography and, and photos and stuff like that. But this, what you really use this for is here on the main page, this inReach. So I can track myself. I can track on or off. I can send out an SOS message. I can send out a text message. There's one to my mom and a friend of mine and uh, and me. Um, and these are not cellular. These are actually satellite sent messages. Um, you can Bluetooth to a phone and call using a phone. Um, so uh, that's really cool. Let's see what else we'll go there in there. Just my contacts and utilities and the, and the weather. The weather will always give me uh, my location. Let's get the forecast. Let's see what happens. Sending the request. It's taking a little bit of time. While we're doing that. We'll go ahead and look down here. You probably can't see it because the light's really bad, but um, I have my CB radio and uh, with a scan and uh, hooked up to a really cool uh, uh, Firefly uh, antenna in the back that's been professionally tuned. So. And then back up here, it looks like we're almost ready. And there's the weather and my location for the next four days. Now, if I switch to it, it'll show me the hours of darkness and light and the temperature and percentage of precipitation on the right and whether it's cloudy or uh, it's clear and it's pretty cool you know this is all part of a subscription service I pay for it's about 50 bucks a month um, but it gives me complete control and I always have signal um, I can't rely on cellular signals out in the middle of nowhere uh, so I rely on satellite signals and uh, that's about it for the interior we got my sway bar and anti locks there uh, axle lock in my sway bar and uh, that's about it for the interior I can take you around to the front and we'll finish off the video just by saying that uh, under here is an ARB twin air compressor uh, the snorkel uh, a uh, dual battery kit with two yellow top optimus right here um, I don't want to open the hood because I've already shown this several times and there's nothing to change there and it's a pain in the butt with those limb risers on there so but anyway thank you very much for watching and uh, please follow me on Instagram or Facebook and uh, uh, give me a shout tell me what you think that's uh, Freeloaders Adventure um, on Instagram and Christopher Loader Christopher C. Loader on Facebook. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye.